This is my Red Cat Chimera. I'm going over a few upgrades I've done. It's a little more aluminum than I usually would like, but with this vehicle I'm going to do it. I've got the aluminum share staving system in it with bearings. Front shock plate, top plate, top arms, and my knuck. I don't have the knuckles yet. I've been trying to find them, but I do have the caster arms, all in aluminum. I did upgrade the filter system and the cage to aluminum. I upgraded my gas tank supports and my back to aluminum with the rear A arms and turnbuckle systems with the rear shock tower now this rear shock tower is off the XBE it let me modify my shocks from the inside of my cage right here to allow me to move them to the back of these A arms which is why I went aluminum here and not on the front lowers so that I can move my shock towers to this back it does strengthen it up quite a bit, but it's all hooked into the case. I do plan on getting 70, 75 RC front and rear differential cover soon. I just haven't been able to swing it. And this tower allows me to run the Jet Pro exhaust perfectly through here to mount to the plate that goes on the back. That's another reason I got this tower. But like I say, if you order this rear shock tower, I want to know they don't have an aluminum one. This is for the XBE. It fits this and it allows a Jet Pro pipe. I do not know about the DDM pipe. The stock pipe will not work with it. I'm going to upgrade the steering servo tonight to a high tech 645 MG. I'm going to put the new throttle linkage system on there. I do have the aluminum plates for down here underneath. I have not installed them yet, but I will. Like I say, I got most of my parts from rampageshop.com. Some of the stuff has come from 7075RC. Old Ford is a great guy. Really awesome. Jet Pro, Dino over there is really awesome to deal with. I do have a set of DGI red alloy steel turnbuckles coming for both sides and for my servo, which is being upgraded to an aluminum servo mount also provided by rampageshop.com with all the aluminum buckle pieces to get it like i say i'm going to lighten the load in a few other areas with it i'm going to get a tbr front racing bumper for it because they're the only ones that make it i have a company local that i've talked to i'm going to take the cage down to it i will upgrade this video if they do do it they're stating that they can take my cage with everything in it and on it and copy it and carbon fiber it for me be a little more costly but i'm looking around the 80 to 90 dollar mark with them doing it and once it's in the computer it'll be just a tad cheaper the next time around so with that being said this cage will soon be upgraded all the way around and everything on it will be carbon fiber, which will lighten some of my weight for the aluminum upgrades. Not a lot, but some. I also got the Ramtech 24 millimeter hubs on here because I run ball haw wheels and I wanted a different choice of the types of rims I wanted to use. Nothing wrong with the Red Cats, but they're brand new and sitting there. I'm running a 3PV Futaba radio system on this with a dynamite large kill ignition switch. The next thing I'm going to get will probably be 7075RC is where I'll get it from. have not made my decision yet, but it will be the transmission plate upgrade. And that'll pretty much be every hop up in aluminum, carbon fiber, and everything they make to this but with me having my cage built carbon fiber this will be one of a kind he told me that if i wanted to take these bumpers off and give them to him and the rear assembly which is right here the wing assembly that he could also do all of that in carbon fiber which would lighten me enough weight to make up for the cage the a arms 
and the front plate and shock tire we've weighted off. So those four aluminum hop-ups will be dropped in weight from the carbon fiber, which would strengthen everything. I'm also thinking about taking this piece right here to them where the roll cage hooks into the bottom and getting that done in carbon fiber. And I'm also thinking about getting the battery box and the servo radio tray, servo tray, excuse me, done in carbon fiber. And I'm also thinking about taking the uh, outer edge plate and having it taken and getting it done in carbon fiber. I would spend about 320 bucks. We figured it out on everything to be done the first time. It'd be about 240 for it every time after that because everything will be in the computer. But it would open the door for other Chimera owners to make some serious, wicked upgrades. Excuse my dog. He just loves being around me. I do have a 900, 990 carve on here. I'm going to upgrade to a 320 Zenoa soon from DDM. But I'm waiting to tune this one out with the Jet Pro. I haven't crunked the carb, had it about a month, and I just keep buying the upgrades. So once I do the carbon fiber and my Jet Pro and my DGI links get here, I'm going to do everything like I said, radio servo tray, battery box, front bumper, rear wing unit, and roll cage. I'm going to get done in carbon fiber. It's going to take a couple weeks. I will send an updated video of this, see what you guys think about the upgrades with the carbon fiber. It'll be one of a kind at the time, but like I say, y'all can text me in these links to find out if everything's successful on the carbon fiber about getting it. I also upgraded to the fuel line system with the brass fittings. Forgot about that. Upgraded fuel lines. So with that being said, I'm going to put the high tech 645 in here tonight, which if you excuse me one minute, I'm going to walk over to this box and uh, show you. I thought I had it. Excuse me if I don't. Oh, there it is. I got the HS 645 MG, very highly recommended servo. And I also have a low C servo system going in for the steering to replace the stock steering and I also got a high-tech aluminum 24 I don't see it I don't have it up here ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry but I got a high-tech aluminum arm in black because I didn't want to put blue on here but it was the only thing that Ray Cat offered but it comes this comes with a rubber boot and it just as you can see it just it don't work well at all little rubber boot wears out but I got some upgraded parts for the throttle system I'm gonna do some work on the brakes tonight now we'll upgrade the video soon thanks for looking guys